choice. I choose to live, laugh, and love. And the reason that I'm choosing to do that is because my faith and my trust is in the Lord. And it's not in my circumstances or things that are around me. So my hope, my trust is in the Lord. I hope yours is too, because that's where our strength is. That's where the power is and where uh, the focus goes. That's where the power flows. So we're choosing to rejoice in the Lord. And again, I say rejoice. Hey, I'm Cheryl. You're listening to the Cheryl Boggs show, resting in his word. And that's what we do here. And I've got Dan Hain on the line with me all the way from Spokane Valley, Washington. Hey, Dan. Hey, Cheryl. Great to be with you again. Great to have you. So it's summertime. It's summertime. Yes, indeed. It is summertime. Um, <laughs> up, up here in Spokane, we have a, what you call a picture-perfect day. It's about 85 oh. degrees, light breeze blowing, mostly sunny. I'm telling you what, God is good. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a far cry from all that snow you were having. Yeah. Uh, well, heck, so we're blessed with that. So um, it's all good. Well, you know what, Dan? We have been spending weeks on 23 traits of the end time generation. Now, I am wondering... Just how far are we? <laughs> well, I hate to break the news to you, but uh, we wrapped it up with the 23rd trait last time we were on the air. <laughs> and what was that last trait? Okay, um, I just happen to have it right here. It says, the end time generation <laughs> releases an unrestricted revelation of the goodness and the greatness of the great I am. And they unashamedly and boldly prepare the way of the Lord. Yes, yes, yes. So that was just awesome. I mean, just 23 traits. Those of you that may have missed it, you can go to Dan's website, dhmissions.com, and you can download them. And he has all kind of information. Uh, we're going to, I'll tell you about it again before it's over. But right. I want to find right. out what is on. Dan Haynes, mind, what has the Lord given you today for us? Well, a little snippet of that 23rd trait talks about uh, the end time generation um, releasing an unrestricted revelation of the goodness of God. And Ooh, oh. boy, God is so good. I, I cannot stress that <laughs> enough. Um, you know, it would actually be impossible to overemphasize how good God is. Uh, because that's just what he is. He's good, you know. And mm -hmm. and so somebody wrote, song. somebody wrote a song about good. He's he's a good good father. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's really something. How things kind of remind us of a song, you know. But um, mm -hmm. but uh, yeah, he's definitely good. And if you can grab a hold of that concept that God is a good father, he's a good God. Um, it's repeated over and over in Scripture about God is good, the Lord is good, and His mercies endure forever. Um, yeah, I've been. I just picked off a few goodness verses here to uh, bring to our attention, and uh, actually, some of these verses center around the fact that God wants to increase us, and so, okay. um, and that kind of ties in with His goodness. Um, mm -hmm. So I wanted to read Psalms 115, and um, starting in verse 11, and we're going to go through verse 15. This is a really strong scripture passage here. It says, You that fear the Lord, trust in the Lord. He is your help and your shield. So God wants to help you. He wants to get involved with your situation. He, he wants to uh, help you to overcome situations and circumstances that challenge you okay going down to verse 12 now in psalms 115 the lord has been mindful of us now in some of the versions instead of being mindful for us he it says that god will remember us god remembers us he is not going to forget us 
Glory to God. So the Lord remembers us. He will bless us. He will bless the house of Israel and bless the house of Aaron. Now in verse 13, it says, He will bless them that fear the Lord, both small and great. So yes. you don't have to be the, the lead pastor of a mega ministry for God to bless you. This is what it's saying. I mean, well, from, the, from, from the smallest to the greatest, God wants to bless us all. Glory to God. And then um, now I love verse 14. The Lord shall increase you more and more, you and your children. That is huge. And... <laughs> I just, and um you know when I read stuff like this I I just I get overwhelmed I just my brain shuts off sometimes and goes tilt uh but God shall increase you more and more you and your children and verse 15 you are blessed of the Lord which made heaven and earth you are blessed now the, you know we we can't you know this blessing of God, it's not like you sneeze and you say, God bless you, and then that's the end of it. Right. <laughs> this is like an all-encompassing blessing. He wants his blessing to permeate and manifest and flow through every area of our lives. And his blessing is fully able to do that. The blessing of God is a huge thing. Uh, the blessing of God can overtake and overrule anything that the enemy has thrown at us and i get excited about stuff like this um Mm. all right so you're getting fired up yourself i can tell (laughs) okay so i mean that just goes what we do here resting in his word we can take that word stand on that word and 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 faith rises you know people always want to try to get deep revelation if you just read the bible read the word of God, believe what it says, and that he is, you know, he's there for you. He's never going to leave you. Uh, The blessings of the Lord make it rich and adds no sorrow to it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Yes, indeed. (laughs) Um, You know, there are a number of people that are blessed that just have never come into a relationship with God, and uh, they've got what we call worldly blessings, you know. And uh, Mm -hmm. there's lots of times a lot of sorrow attached to these blessings if you're not in a relationship with God. But once you're established in that relationship with God through the Lord Jesus, um, man, when God pours his blessing and his goodness out upon us, I'm telling you what, uh, there is nothing like it. And um, I, I just wanted to show you what what this is all about. In um, Hosea 3, verse 5, it talks about the end times and the goodness of God uh, manifesting in the, good t- in the end times. Um, and th- this is uh, Hosea 3, verse 5. It says, Afterward, the children of Israel shall return and seek the Lord their God and David their king. So this is talking about those who will pursue God, a relationship with God. And here's what will happen. It says, okay. they shall fear the Lord and his goodness in the latter days. Okay, so it's talking about the goodness of God is going to manifest in in his people at such an extent that people that have not come into relationship with God are going to absolutely fear the Lord. They're going to have, it's, it's not like be afraid, but they're going to have a reverential respect for God because they're going to recognize that his goodness goes way above and beyond any goodness that the world can offer. And they're going to recognize that this goodness has come from his hand, blessing his people, and they're going to come into a huge respect. So the goodness of God will have a spiritual magnetism attached to it that draws people into a relationship with God. And so uh, the same idea is repeated in Psalm 67, verses 1 through 2. It says, God, be merciful to us and bless us and cause his face to shine upon us that your way may be known on the earth or throughout the earth in some translations, your salvation among all nations. So, see, there's going to be a magnetism that draws people into salvation. 
into relationship with God as he pours out his blessing upon his people. People are going to be attracted to the kingdom of God because they're going to realize that a lot of good things come along with coming into relationship with God. Do you think, Dan, that uh, us showing the love of God uh, is, is also a drawing tool? Absolutely. Absolutely. Mm. Um, the love of God is one of the hugest. Um, well, it says uh, in 1 Corinthians, uh, it's around chapter 13 or 14. It's the love chapter. Chapter 13. It talks mm. about the love of God, and it talks about how there's no weapon that can overtake the love of God. So it's a supreme weapon. It's a supreme law. There's no law that can come against it. Yes. Because the Bible says it's the goodness of the Lord that leads us to repentance or the goodness. It's the goodness of the Lord. That was your next scripture. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's the goodness of the Lord, you know, that 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 uh, allows us to come into his presence. And um, the Bible says, while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. So I love the fact we don't have to try to make ourselves clean. We don't have to try to make ourselves ready. Right. He loves us with an everlasting love. Go ahead and read your scripture. Right. I think I'm yes, in Romans. You... Um, it's so. Anyways, the goodness of God that draws men to repentance. So this demonstrates what I've been saying that there is a spiritual magnetism surrounding yeah. the goodness of God manifesting through our lives that will draw people into a relationship with God. It's the goodness of God that draws men to repentance. Exactly. And then and then when we're drawn into his presence, there's where you receive his power. There's where you receive his strength. There's where you you receive provision. So if you if you're if you're uh, confused today, there's where peace you can find peace in the presence of God. Uh, you can find it in the word of God. Uh, you just add faith to it. And you just and like you said, as as we're showing that that experience and people are drawn into a relationship with the Lord. Amen. Um, I wanted to refer us the. Uh, us to one more scripture it's psalms 103 and uh, i'm not going to read the whole section here but it talks about in verse 2 to not forget all of god's benefits and yes. if if you reverence god if you pursue a relationship with him you get a benefits package that goes <laughs> far and above anything that you could receive anywhere else and uh it, it talks about how he forgives all your iniquities he heals all of your diseases and you go yes. down to psalms 103 verse 5 he says he satisfies your mouth with good things that your youth is renewed like the eagles so you're yes. actually going to be able to <laughs> right. <laughs> all yes. right People are like, how you stay so young? There, there it is. Right there, there it is, right there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, who's my? What does it say? He, my strength. Your youth is renewed like the eagles because he satisfies your mouth with good things. So these these good things that God pours out, the goodness that He pours out upon you, actually brings life and strength to you in such a way that you're actually going to have more strength and more vigor than anybody else uh, in your age range. Glory to God. <laughs> <laughs> that's 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 the that's the power of not putting your trust in yourself or putting your, your trust in the things that, that are around you that can change. The Bible lets us know that there's no shadow of turning in him. So when we put our faith and our trust in the Lord, uh, it's guaranteed. We, it's, it's, uh, uh, Bishop Brady was uh, preaching yesterday and he was talking about how we should pray from a position of, you know, not uh, not praying to get the victory, but praying from victory, because we are victorious through Jesus Christ. Right. It's it's all about having an eternal perspective. Um, yes. It says in Ephesians that we've been granted seating in heavenly places along with Christ Jesus, and so mm -hmm. that gives us a perspective of looking at our situation from the viewpoint and the vantage point that Jesus looks at our situation. Um, in, in Matthew 
Uh, Jesus said that all power and authority has been given unto me. Go ye therefore and declare the gospel to all nations. Well, mm-hmm. I, I was wondering, well, if Jesus has all this power, how come he's sending us, you know? <laughs> the reason why <laughs> is because in Romans chapter 8, it says that we are heirs with God and joint heirs with Christ Jesus. So this means mm-hmm. that everything that Jesus has, we have joint and equal ownership with. That, yeah. So glory to God. So if he has all this power in heaven and earth, we do too. And it's just a matter of releasing it through the words that we speak that are in alignment with the words we find in the Bible and alignment with the words that would be on God's heart. And that's when you see the action happen. Glory. Yes. <laughs> yes. When we get my hanky out. Yes. All right. Yes. now. <laughs> Because there's power. There's power. What's the scripture? I mean, I'm just hearing part of it. It's saying it's the power of God unto salvation. So I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ, for it is the power of God. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we have access to that power. You have access to that power. So what Dan and I are saying is that, number one, he's a good, good father. He loves you. It is his goodness that draws you. So as we're showing the love of God, then, you know, you're drawn into uh, his presence and it's for you. It's not for those, you know, like I I remember years ago, they was like, you know, salvation is for those goody two shoes. You know, (laughs) you don't know what I've done and you don't know where I've been, but it doesn't matter where you've been. It doesn't matter what you've done. The grace of God, the love of God is there for you. And that's what Dan and I are wanting you to know that you can come into the presence of the Lord, receive uh, the gift of salvation, which is free to all. And, um, and it's available to you today. Yes, it is. The price has already been paid in full by Jesus sacrifice on the cross. Uh, just simply receive it. Just say, I'm sorry for my sins. I turned from my sinful life and the ways of the enemy, the devil, and I receive Jesus. I receive his sacrifice in payment for my sins, and I choose to follow Jesus from now on. And you watch what happens in your life. That power that Jer- uh, that Cheryl was talking about, that power of God, it's not just strength. It's not only strength, but it's miraculous ability will come and start taking up uh, residence within you. And I'm telling you what, uh, you'll be able to walk over a troop, climb a wall and all that stuff, you know, <laughs> glory to God. Nothing can hold you back at that point. Because there's that, that I keep hearing that, that there's peace in that. Um, when I opened up the program, I said, you know, I don't put my trust in things that that move. (laughs) And when we put our faith and our trust in the Lord, it's a firm foundation. It does not, I mean, there's no shadow of turning in him. And I just really believe that as we put our faith and our trust in him, Dan, that, um, he gives us that peace that we need. A lot of people today, and I'm talking to you, you that are listening, this is for you. There's peace and there's power, but there's there's healing and there's deliverance. And all of that is found um, in Jesus Christ. All of that is found. Um, Dan and I want you to know that he's not mad at you. He's madly mm-hmm. in love with you. Doesn't matter what you did last night. Doesn't matter where you've been. Um, I really feel like that God is speaking peace, peace to your mind, where all of this confusion is. If you just stop and just say what I always say, Jesus is as close to you as the mention of his name. And sometimes, uh, Dan, people don't realize what we say, you know, forgive me of my sins. Some people didn't even realize, you know, hey, that I was sinning. But basically, sin is anything that's against God. And what we Uh, what we want you to know today is there is a loving heavenly father. And uh, that's the message, Dan, that you're, that you're sharing with us today, right? About the love of God. Right. He wants to shower his goodness upon you and, and manifest himself to you. 
Uh, there's mm-hmm. nothing like entering into that peace like you've been talking about. Nothing like it. Yes. And that's why that's why we're here every Monday from five to seven central. And that is to bring the love of God, the peace of God, the power of God, uh, the dominion to let you know that you are not defeated, but you are more than a conqueror through Jesus Christ. Yeah, I feel my preacher today. All right. Um, that you're more than a conqueror through Jesus Christ who loves you, gave himself for you. So, uh, Dan, in the, the couple of minutes that we have left. Um, tell us how we can uh, avail ourselves to your uh, resources that you have on your website. All right. The website is dhmissions.com. D for Dan and H for Hain and spell missions with an S, dhmissions.com. And if you want to go to the 23 Traits article that I wrote, uh, you'll see an article button at at the top of the page and click that. It brings up an articles index. It'll be the first article that you see. And uh, you can download it as a PDF or a Word document or read it off the website itself and use it. Please use it any way that you feel that you can use it and uh, get the word out about God's goodness. Glory to God. And then uh, there's all kinds of videos and audios on the website. And my book, Keys to Your Future, Going Beyond the Veil to Discover Purpose, is there also. So help yeah. yourself. <laughs> all right. Well. Ooh, we talked about the goodness of the Lord, and I, my faith just just went through the roof because when you know that He loves you, when you know that 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 God loves you, then when you pray and when you enter into His presence, you know you 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 just know He's got you in the palm of of His hand, and whatever we ask in His name, He's able to do it. Mm. Glory to God. He's a good God. Don't forget. God yes. is a good God. And good. he loves you intensely. Yes, he does. All right. Well, thank you so much, Dan, for being on the Cheryl Boggs show, Resting in His Word. And we look forward to uh, talking to you again next week. I know you're going to the mountains or somewhere camping. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but uh, we will talk to you again real soon. God bless you. All right, and God bless you. God bless every listener, too, in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, let's give the Lord some thanks for his goodness. Well, this is Dan Hain in the studio uh, in Spokane Valley, Washington. I wanted to show you real quick what the website looks like, dhmissions.com. Here it is. And uh, the article that I mentioned, um, uh, you can you can find that by going to the articles button which is right right let me get it i can't quite zero in on it there it is okay the articles button see if i can make it flash again there we go click that button so i'm going to click it and show you what happens there's the articles index and you go to this first box it's blinking at you right now and that will take you to the 23 traits of the end time generation and if you click this box on the left it it will um you see it blinking now you can download it as a pdf the box on the right will allow you to download it as a word document and help yourself like i said this will be a tremendous blessing to you um you can use it in sunday school class or sermon topics uh these are just little bullet points that god gave me concerning the end time generation and um if you read through this you'll find that the holy spirit will speak to you and uh, bring you a whole lot more detail than what I put into this article here. So uh, anyway, dive in there, help yourself, and uh, really enjoy the Holy Spirit as he speaks to you as you go through this article. Also, I want to mention that we have a Facebook page. Go to Facebook.com in the search box of of Facebook.com. Type in Dan Hain, D-A-N-H-A-Y-N-E. That will take you to my Facebook page, which looks like this right now. And then uh, also we have a YouTube channel that looks like this. Go to YouTube.com. Once again, find the search box and type in Dan Hain, D-A-N-H-A-Y-N-E. And you can watch a lot of these broadcast videos. They'll come up um, and just uh, really grab a hold of what God's doing. There's plenty of revelation, plenty of insight for you to grab a hold of. And um, 
just help yourself once again in any way that you would like to. Well, we're back in the studio again. I just want to thank you for taking the time and uh, watching these videos. I believe that God's doing great things in your life. I believe that the devil's a loser and you're a winner in every situation that you're facing. And remember this, with God, all things are possible. And with God, nothing can hold you back. So hang in there. God's on the throne. You're a winner. God bless you. And we'll see you on YouTube. We'll see you on Facebook. We'll see you on the website. See you next time.